Most of you know that Sarasota has so much to offer, whether it's our beautiful beaches, the variety of activities, fine dining experience, or quaint shops. There's a little something for everyone. But what if I told you that there are things that you should not do in Sarasota? That's right, as someone who lives and works here, I'm going to share with you some things that you should avoid while visiting our city. If you are new to my channel, I'm Lindsay Ashley, Realtor with Keller Williams Realty Select. And as a native of Sarasota, I love helping buyers, sellers, and investors in all things real estate while sharing my local expertise about this beautiful city. If you enjoy these videos, please hit that subscribe button and notification bell so you never miss out. I love bringing you information and entertaining content that helps you explore this wonderful area of ours. As you may be aware, Sarasota is located in Florida, and when you think of Florida, you may think of sunshine. So one thing you should not do in Sarasota is go outdoors without sunscreen. One thing that can ruin your day or vacation, Faster than hurricane winds is third degree burns. No one wants to have to remain indoors taking an oral steroid lathered in aloe when they could be lathered in sunscreen while taking in the sights. Always wear the recommended 15 SPF or higher and follow directions for reapplying. You want to enjoy your time here, not tending to blistered skin. That does not make for an enjoyable memory. Now I know how much everyone enjoys selfies, right? You see something cool while vacationing and you just have to pull out your phone for a one-of-a-kind pic. And while this is fine for most situations, there's definitely one thing you do not want to attempt. Do not take a selfie with an alligator. Alligator sightings are frequent in Sarasota, especially in any freshwater stream, lake, or pond. Even some swimming pools. That's not a joke. <laughs> and it should go without saying that it is imperative to leave an alligator alone. But for the sake of this video, I'll say it again. Leave the alligators alone. And if you do encounter one of Florida's most popular creatures, run away in a zigzag pattern. Although, gators don't usually go sprinting after people. Ah, the Legacy Trail, a staple in Sarasota County's local bicycling community and a must-see attraction for tourists interested in Florida's natural environment. Pedestrians and cyclists alike enjoy the 12-mile smoothly paved path with beautiful landscaping surrounded by nature and wildlife. But one thing you do not wanna do is scare off away said wildlife by riding your moped on the trail. This is a huge no-no. The Legacy Trail is for the enjoyment of walkers and bicyclists only. Feel like taking a trip out onto the water for a daytime or sunset cruise? If so, do not take it upon yourself to help yourself to a personal tour or asking for a test drive of the yachts at Marina Jacks. Even if you fancy yourself as the most experienced sailor, this is strictly prohibited. What you can do is schedule a sightseeing tour through Marina Jacks for the ultimate experience. They are happy to take you on a relaxing narrated sightseeing lunch tour or sunset dinner cruise through the intercoastal waters in the Gulf of Mexico. You'll even enjoy delicious dining while taking on the breathtaking views and being provided exceptional service, which is way better than jail food. One stop that a lot of people want to make while visiting Sarasota is to the Ringling. I mean, the Ringling Circus. Peanuts, animals, acrobats, oh my. However, do not assume that you can join the circus while you're here, or presume that every Sarasotian knows the Ringlings. While we love this rich and entertaining cultural attraction, it doesn't mean that they're hiring or that everyone is an heir to the Ringling fortune. Keeping with the Ringling topic, a vision of its founder, John Ringling. St. Armand's Circle is home to more than 140 upscale boutiques, award-winning restaurants, and posh art galleries, just to name a few. This open-air European-inspired setting is said to be the jewel of Sarasota. Its intentional circular layout was fittingly inspired by that of a circus wagon wheel. I mean, it was John Ringling's concept. One thing you should not do at St. Armand's Circle is decide to play an all-inclusive game of Ring Around the Rosy. I know, believe me, I know how a appealing this can be. I mean, it's one humongous circle. Shh, I've done it a few times with my kids. But please, calmly collect yourself and just stick to shopping, dining, or taking in the sights. Are you a night owl? Well, if not, and you find yourself in the village on Siesta Key, then you do not 
want to plan to be in bed by 10 p.m. Here you'll find a line of open air bars and restaurants, classics of the beach bar genre. The vacation atmosphere is palpable, boasting an upscale but informal resort with thousands of visitors staying mostly in rented condos for a couple of weeks. The music is loud and scenery electrifying. The drinks are flowing and the party is nonstop. If you do decide to stay here for some R&R, just be sure to bring your earplugs. And last on our list for what not to do in Sarasota. Do not yell hurricane at every single rain cloud. Please, oh please, I'm begging you. If Sarasotians know one thing about hurricanes, it's that Sarasota rarely gets hit by hurricanes. Knock on wood. Tropical storms? Sure, I mean, we are near a large body of water, but hurricanes tend to not make as much landfall here as opposed to some of the other Florida counterparts. Plus, not every storm cloud equals hurricanes, just like not every storm cloud in the Midwest equals tornadoes. All towns and cities come with their fair share of visitor quirks, oddities, and idiosyncrasies. But after this, you'll blend right in when exploring the various attractions and amenities that Sarasota has to offer. You're like a seasoned pro now, so come on, let's go take a selfie with the man I heard they're friendlier than those gators. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to subscribe to my channel for everything Sarasota. Also, be sure to ring that notification bell so you can be up to date on all of the juicy details and information I have to share with you weekly. Below is a link for you to get your free relocation guide with all things Sarasota. And if you want to search for properties in the Sarasota area, please visit my website, www.lindsayashley.com. Until next time, bye-bye.